The whole country is grappling with this entire current account deficit problem. We've seen the rupee tank and we've seen this obsession with gold continuing. But what do we see from the government? We see 2% to 4% to 6% to 8%. We see a few income tax raids on some big bullion traders. Is that the way really the government should go about curbing this entire gold rush, so to speak, which seems to be threatening to destabilize the economy? Well, first of all, I think the, the main point here is the government is going after the smoke rather than the fire that is blowing a dollar rupee higher. Secondly, the rupee in itself is driven by four factors. The pickup we've seen is due to politics, 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 and politics. To focus on gold, I think, is just a smokescreen. And the reason why is that the current account deficit in itself and balance of payments are outcomes. What are the symptoms that have driven the deterioration of our country's current account uh, deficit and much more anemic capital flows relative to exploding current account deficit? One is essentially fiscal deficits, uh, large fiscal deficits, high inflation, basically deteriorating growth where the India shining story has turned now into uh, India dawn story from a 10% economy, we're going to 5% economy. And fourth is basically that the policy framework or policy announcements are basically more about uh, you know, coming from an academic community within the government that doesn't realize the harsh realities of what is politically feasible and implementable. And unless you fix those four main areas of weaknesses, you're going to get continued current account deficits. And, the, and the, the, this whole idea about focusing on gold, this is just basically an outcome. It's not essentially the main driver of the currency weakness, in my opinion. So the bottom line is that in the near term, dollar rupee, I think by year end, we're, we're pretty much in trading within the 62, 65 range, where the non-deliverable forwards on a six-month basis right now are tracking around 59.30. So my f assessment is much more bearish than what the market is looking at. And so what we need to see from the government is the billion-dollar question. So you need to look at other emerging markets circa, let's say, 2005. In Indonesia, where we had similar problems, not related to gold, but due, due to basically oil, is announced significant policy announcements related to the fuel subsidy. Uh, secondly, basically get to the heart of the inflation problem, which is essentially hoarding. Third is the growth problem, which is mainly a planning commission ineptness of implementation of infrastructure projects, which is bringing our economy down. And fourth, a realization of what is implementable versus what is theory.